Hello everyone. My name is Noah James Gonzalez. Friends and families call me Nonong Gonzalez, a name given to me by my grandpa which I like, and a name which established my identity. I invite you, together with my mom Angelia, Grandma Nancy, Tita Gian, and my grandpa Jimmy, to come travel with me as I journey around the world to see the beautiful places, its people and culture, and taste its native delicacies. Iloilo International Airport is the airport serving the province of Iloilo and the Philippines, including its capital city, Iloilo City, the regional center of the Western Visayas region. It opened its door to commercial traffic on June 14, 2007, after a decade of planning and construction replacing Mandoriao Airport in Mandoriao, Iloilo City, which had been in service for over 70 years. As a result, the new airport inherited its IATA and ICAO airport codes, as well as its position as the port busiest airport in the Philippines from its predecessor. It is the first airport in both Western Visayas and the island of Panay to be built to international standards and it also considered to be the primary gateway into the region. It is classified as an international airport by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. The airport is located in Cabatuan, Iloilo, 24 kilometers northwest of Iloilo City and a 188-hectare site spread across Barangay Tabukan, Tering, Gaob, Duyan Duyan, and Manguna. The airport complex consists of a single runway, various administrative and maintenance buildings, waste sorting, water treatment facilities, a power generating station, a cargo terminal, uh, and a main passenger terminal. Its location and the Tomas Confessor Highway, a major highway transversing the island, makes the airport accessible from all parts of Iloilo and Panay by road, while its proximity to the currently defunct Panay Railways Network could potentially link the airport to the rest of Panay by rail. Built in slightly over 30 months, Iloilo International Airport is one of the largest airports to be constructed in the Philippines. At its inauguration, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo remarked that airport was the most beautiful and modern in the country and called it a symbol of both political will and economic maturity. Iloilo International Airport has one primary 2,500-meter runway, 45 meters wide. The runway runs at a direction of 2 degrees and 20 degrees, the same as Mandoriao Airport. However, unlike the runway at Mandoriao, the longer runway at Iloilo International Airport can support wide-bodied aircraft such as the Airbus A330, Airbus A340, Airbus 
A350, XWB, Boeing 777 with reduced payload for the minus 300 series or minus 200 series. Boeing 767, Boeing 757, Antonov AN-124 Russian, McDonnell Douglas MD-11, and Boeing 787. This was proven when an Airbus A310 designated as an Airbus CC-150 Polaris and a Boeing C-17 Globemaster III designated as CC-177 Globemaster III belonging to the Royal Canadian Air Force landed at the airport to deploy Canadian troops in the wake of Typhoon Haiyan. Runway lights and instrument landing system were installed, making the airport capable of supporting low visibility and night landings under any weather condition. has a 13,700 square meter main passenger terminal designed to accommodate around 1.2 million passengers annually. Regarded as one of the most beautifully designed airport terminals in the Philippines, its architectural style is said to be reminiscent of Hong Kong International Airport, albeit on a smaller scale. It is divided into three levels, arrivals and baggage claims on the first floor, check-in on the second floor, and departures on the third floor. The pre-departure area at Iloilo International Airport has a capacity of 436 passengers. Three jet bridges protrude from the terminal above a 48,000 square meter apron enabling Iloilo International Airport to handle up to six aircraft simultaneously. When fully extended, the jet bridges stretch to a length of 35 meters. The terminal is equipped with six X-ray machines, as well as escalators and staircases for departing and arriving passengers use. There are also two elevators, one for very important person and one for disabled passengers. Two pocket gardens have been installed at the terminal, one each for both the departure and arrival halls. The building features then modern check-in counters with LCD monitors. The terminal makes extensive use of natural lighting designed for energy efficiency. Other amenities available to passengers include a special smoking room, a duty-free shop, a VIP lounge, a Mabuhay lounge for Philippine Airlines business class, passengers and counters for hotel and car rental bookings, as well as areas for airport stores and payphones. On August 5, 2016, the CAPP launched the airport's free wireless internet network in cooperation with PLDT and Smart Communications. Post here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode and please hit the red subscribe button below for it means so much for me. Until next time, thank you so much.
Special thanks to Mrs. Amalia Gonzalez of Los Angeles, California, the Banaked of Chicago, Illinois, the Dumaliang of Chicago, Illinois, Greg and Marie Chris Asselin of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, the Diaros of Balasan, Eloilo, Jose Graelius of Balasan, Eloilo, and Kyle DiCierdo of Balasan, Iloilo.